Hey CBC family, Sister Jen here with the Children's Ministry, ready to get back into God's Word. Um, always excited to share God's Word with you. Um, I miss being with you guys, but I know that we still get to be in God's Word, and that's what matters the most. And I do pray that you guys are spending time in God's Word. Um, we need God's Word for strength and encouragement. Um, no matter what we're going through, um, what's going on with our families or, you know, know, just whatever is happening in your life. We all need God's word. Everybody needs God's word because we're talking about making choices, right? And God's word, which is his truth, will lead and guide us and help us to make right choices. Choices that are either going to praise and worship him or and honor him or we'll be disobedient to God. And when we're disobedient, um, it's not always um, good consequences that come from that. So last week we looked at Samson. And remember, he chose, there were times he chose to obey God. But when he didn't obey God, when he made that choice to not obey God, um, then it was disastrous. It was it was not good what happened afterwards. But today, we're going to learn about um a woman who chose to be obedient and a way of loving God and and honoring Jesus. So get your Bibles and you're going to go to John chapter 12. We're looking at verses 1 through 8. Um, And let me pray though so we get started. God, I thank you that you are such a loving God, a gracious God who has taken care of us and just... um, made a way possible that we can have a relationship with you. Um, Lord, your love for us, it goes beyond what we can even understand. Holy Spirit, give us understanding and help us to know of ways that we can show our love towards you, Jesus. Um, We can show our love towards you and that we can honor and praise you. Um, Help us to choose to do that, though. So we know that you are our strength and we know that you will help us because you've helped us in the past. And when we don't make the right choices, then you forgive us. And we thank you for loving us that much that you made a way to forgive us. We thank you. We praise you in Jesus name. Amen. All right. So John chapter 12 verses 1 through 8. We are looking at Mary. Um, Mary and Martha were... Um, Lazarus sisters and they um, would invite Jesus over Jesus was friends with them and he would come over and this was a time that he was there and they had a special dinner for him and Martha was busy in the kitchen making food and serving and Lazarus was there at the table with Jesus just talking with him and Mary wanted to um, just show her she want, she was choosing to show love and gratitude towards Jesus for everything that he had done so this is when Jesus is alive this is when Jesus was walking on the earth this was before Jesus went to the cross um, so Jesus is with them and she just wants to honor him and to worship him and show her just love for all that he's done And one of the ways now, so she ends up washing, uh, anointing his feet. Now, you might not think that's a big deal, but it is a huge deal. So remember that they wore, mostly wore sandals. So they didn't have shoes like we did. So their feet weren't covered um, and there was dirt roads. So their feet were pretty dirty. So anybody washing someone's feet um, was almost like looked down upon like that was a not a real you know really good job so anytime someone's feet were washed or anointed it was something very special so not only was she humbling herself showing herself as a servant that um she just wanted to do this and so it wasn't with water though so it wasn't just like washing his feet this time it was actually anointing his feet so what she did is they would have oil and it was expensive so it was like a lot of oil and it was very expensive to have 
And she, so Jesus is sitting there and she pours the oil on his feet. And then she takes her hair. She takes her hair and she wipes it off. She wipes off the oil off of Jesus's feet. This was a way of just showing her love for Jesus and care. And people in the room, they didn't really understand um, what was going on. Some even got upset of like, she could have took that oil and, you know, sold it and got money. And, you know, we could have paid for, um, we could have taken care of other people. And Jesus said, but she chose a good thing. She was anointing him. They didn't no, really fully understand that he was going to be going to the cross. So it's almost like because anointing people would also, um, they would do that for their burial too. So showing God, Jesus used another opportunity to let them know um, he didn't come just to be there physically on earth. Um, he came with a purpose to live a perfect sinless life and then to, in order to pay for our sins, he had to die on the cross. And then he would be buried. And then he rose from the grave. So, but they didn't have that full understanding yet. But she just wanted to love on Jesus. She just wanted to show gratitude towards Jesus and worship. So this is what she did. She anointed his feet. And he, Jesus told them, the, the people there, leave her alone. Like, don't talk about her. She was worshiping him. And they didn't really understand what she was doing. And she might not have totally understood. But God pressed on her heart to do this in front of people so that they would see. And and Jesus said, you know what? The poor you will always have. They're, they will be here and you, were, you will care for them. And you will take, um, you know, food and provisions to those who are in need. But Jesus was letting them know he wasn't going to be there much longer. He wasn't going to be here much longer with them on earth. So what she did was a really good thing to honor and love him. Because that's, but we have to choose to do this. So what are some ways that you can, you can show Jesus um, your love for him, your gratitude, a uh, way of worshiping him for everything that he's done we have talked about worship before and we when we sing and we pray and we um, praise God, right? Well, there's other ways by loving Jesus. Um, spending time with him, spending time in his word. Um, we can take care of others. When we are loving somebody else and caring for somebody else, Jesus says that, you know, what, what you did for the least of these what you did for people um, with, with a pure heart, with pure motives, choosing just because you want to show God because God's allowed you to do that, then he honors that. God does. And he sees that. And he knows that you're worshiping him. And he knows that you're showing your love. So we can show Jesus and God love by loving other people, by choosing to do that, by choosing to help them. Not expecting them to do anything for us, but just because we want to. So I want you to think about and talk about it with your parents of what are some ways that you can show Jesus love. Um, what are other ways that, that you can honor him and worship him? Okay, so our scripture memory verse, we're still looking at Psalm 119. I'm reading it right here. And verse 34, where it says, here we go. Give me understanding so that I may keep your law and obey it with all my heart. All right. So what I would love for you guys to do is to practice your scripture memory verse. You can write, you know, a word on each piece of paper. And I want to challenge you this week to see if you can come up with an activity. What you can come up of with a different way of studying God's word, of helping you to remember um, what that scripture says. So, yeah, I'm challenging you guys because we've been doing this for a long time. Um, and there's many different activities that we can do. But I would love to hear or, you know, send an email to pastor. Say, pastor, this is what I did to... 
um, remember Psalm 119, verse 34. You know, send him an email, send him a picture, send him a text. Um, uh, I don't know, email him a picture of something that you've done. You can make a creative poster for those who love to draw. Um, you know, write out the scripture and then just make it really nice and honoring God that way. Um, or share. You could share this scripture with somebody else. Tell them about it. You could say like, hey, I've been practicing this scripture memory verse. Can I tell you what it is? And then you practice by just telling somebody else. And that is loving them because you are choosing to share God's word with them. That would be really good too. So there's many ways that we can study God's word together. There's many ways that we can remember God's word. Um, but we just want to remember who God is. Um, so I can't wait to see you next week. We'll do another lesson um, in the New Testament about making choices. We want to make choices to love and honor God and to obey him. Have a wonderful week and remember to share Psalm 119 verse 34 with somebody this week. God bless you. Bye.